Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made these cards. Um, got a mark on that one. Um, a subscriber sent me some dies, which I've already said in the card I've just filmed. But, um, yeah, she asked me if I'd use these. She didn't want to be named, so I'm not naming her. Um, and these were the dies she sent me. These ones are current. Uh, Forever Elegance, or Lasting Elegance, they're called. And I've used these three dies here on the card. She also sent me these dies. This one is retired just now, or it hasn't been carried over to the new catalogue. And this one's retired as well, the happy birthday one. And she asked if I could use them. Hmm, of course I can. So I've made these cards with them. Now, because I've already cut out this, you're going to get a second card. So it's watch one, get one free. <laughs> um, yeah, I've already cut it out because I didn't want to bring up me big shot to cut the bits out. And if you watched a card where I explained it all on the first one, my card powers one, you will see how I cut out the frame because I used it on that. This card I thought has turned out pretty well. But that's not stamping. This background paper, believe it or not, is wrapping paper. All it is wrapping paper from a shop called Next. Cost a, cost a quid for this. Now I got this last year or the year before and put it in the drawer. Never made nothing of it. And then of course when I got this big happy birthday I thought oh I know what I could use that for. Because I actually found this last week. And that's what I've done with it. Cut a piece of paper found a colour that matched one of the balloons and cut out a gold happy birthday which I've got here and this time I'm going to match the balloons up with mint macaron and just stick that on there and on a card base and stick that on top that's how you can make a cheerful card using wrapping paper. So we'll stick that one together and we'll do this one. And this one I've changed the colour to Bermuda Bay. Is it Bermuda Bay? I think it is. Yeah, Bermuda Bay. I haven't used it for absolutely ages, this colour. I don't know why, because I like this, and I like the uh, Costa Cabana one as well, and I haven't used that either for a while. So, that would just get stuck flat on there. So, I'm telling you, this is, because I've cut this out already, a two minute stamp, a two minute card. And that is why I'm giving you two cards. For the price of one. <laughs> Thanks to, I nearly said her name, the young lady who, I believe she's young, don't matter, who sent me this, these dies. I don't know why she doesn't want to be named on air. really do appreciate her thinking of me and she sent them right for the sentiment I got it out of birthday bouquet this has not been carried over this year at least I don't think it does don't remember seeing it let me just check I can actually show you inside this now. Uh, 
No, it's not been carried over. So, but I'm just using this just for the word happy happy anniversary, which is here. And my beautiful bouquet. Now, please excuse if you can hear him snoring, but he's obviously bored. And I've got some scrap white here. Now, because I haven't used this for so long, it might actually be dry, but we'll see. Oh no, it is one of the um, old ink pads, so I'll be getting replaced soon, because I'm slowly replacing all my ink pads with the new ones. Right, now I'm using the two heart punches. So, place that in there, make sure it's in the centre, and it's straight, and punch. One, and I've got a scrap of Bermuda Bay, and Ooh. punch your heart out of there and that will get stuck on there which we might as well do now and then that on like that. I think that's quite nice. Right, let's put three dimensionals on this. And place that there. It's better. And then we will add some gems. But what I'm going to do is add glue and then stick the gems on top of the glue. My, the gems are actually sticking on better now because the heating's not on in my house. But when I had the heating on the glue used to dry up underneath them and they'd fall off. So that's why I've started gluing on the gems. So that's that one done. Put that with that and I'll show you our both together afterwards. This one ooh. Because this is wrapping paper, we don't want to glue it.
because it's really thin. So with your runner, tape runner, I don't know what the seal and press I think they're called now in stamping up. To do it gently, you don't want to rip the paper. Only trouble is with this you haven't got any wiggle room now. So you've got to be accurate first time. And then that will sit on top of our card. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, they're not doing snails no more. They're doing, I think they're called seal and press. I'm going to show you in a minute. Let me stick this down. As far as I know as well, they're not available uh, to sell at the moment. They're not ready. Right. Um, N. Can you see these here? These are new and they look like, look like snails. But they're called Stamping Seal and Stamping Seal Plus. The Seal Plus, which I believe to be this one, is like Instant Bomb Permanent Adhesive. Strong Seal. It's a bit like, um, oh, what was the black one called? And they discontinued it. Uh, I can't remember. I know we had a snail and then you had a black one. I never used it. Again, the boys uses it all the time. So it's a bit like that, I think. But they're not available yet. Nor's the glue pen. Uh, the fine tip glue. As I tried to get it. But that's not available. Not for me. It was somebody else who wanted I find it glue. Right, now we're just going to put some glue on the back of this. Just putting dots all over the place. Making sure I hit the bottom and the top so it don't lift. Right, and I'll just place that there. And that is how you make a really quick birthday card. And couldn't get any quicker. So we've got them. And you've got them. Two cards. And I'd like to thank the young lady for sending me these dies. Well, I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see me more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell icon and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.